on common opponents. Brush has faced University and lost 3-1. The Tigers were swept 3-0. Uh, Strasburg a win. The Tigers also a three-set sweep. Um, so, you know, we've got some common opponents, it looks like, on here as uh, Yuma, they swept Yuma 3-0, so did Sterling, and uh, they just swept Estes Park. Sterling has not played Estes. That'll be coming up in a couple Saturdays as we go to Estes, and they still have Valley and Eaton on their schedule as well. So the Sterling Tigers and the Brush Beat Diggers uh, in the last minute of warm-up here, the Sterling Tigers having a lot of trouble the last few games with um, unforced errors, hitting errors and serving errors, uh, coming off bad passes on serve-receive, and just some, just some uh, shooting themselves in the foot. And so Sterling Tigers going to have to correct that tonight against a good Brush team that uh, the Tigers have not faced. So... It will be an interesting matchup coming up here in a few minutes. We're going to take a break. We'll be back for the first serve right after this. You're listening on 1230 KFCC. You're watching on Chaffa.tv, call it or preps.tv, and YouTube.com because this is a big-time small-town production.
And welcome back to Brush High School. I'm Michael Murphy, and it's time for volleyball on a Tuesday night as the Sterling Tigers and the Brush Bee Digger is going to take on the court here in volleyball in the Patriot League. The starting lineups tonight for the Sterling Tigers, the visitors tonight, number four, or I'm sorry, number two, Jamie Sheldon, number three, Megan Smock, number five, Kenzie Chrisman. The libero tonight, Alexis Bowler, number eight, Alex Masters, number 10, Tyler Chrisman, number 12, Shayla Klein. And for the Brush Beat Diggers, the home team tonight, starting number one, a sophomore, Shelby Wolliver, number six, a senior, Jordan Delorier, Emma Mortensen, number eight, a sophomore, Allison Paps, number 10, a junior, Lexi Garcia's libero tonight, number 14. And uh, I'm not sure whether I said Ellie Monarch or not. Number 12, a junior. I wanted to talk about Megan Griffith. Megan Griffith, a junior, uh, one of their normal starters out with a concussion. And she will not be playing tonight. So one of their starters, unfortunately, not going to be playing tonight. Those are your starting lineups. Don't forget our pregame brought to you by Nelson Financial. This first set going to be brought to you by Signal Graphics in the Broadway Plaza Shopping Center and Sterling, your one-stop shop for all your printing needs, business cards, posters, flyers, and other signage for your business events. Give Kelvin a call, 970-521-9000. As we are, if you're watching on Chassa.tv or on ColoradoPreps.tv, You'll see that the teams are meeting at the net, shaking hands. I think that's a great tradition. As R1 and R2 take the court along with the line judges. R1 getting on the stand. Last minute discussion. As the teams are going to take the floor, the Sterling Tigers uh, in the first matchup Bead brush 3-0 in a 3-0 sweep. But that was not the league matchup. The league matchup is always the second matchup. And so this is going to be for the league matchup tonight. As Brush takes the floor, Sterling coming out. Sterling will be in black, trimmed in white. They'll be going left to right on your radio dial and on your TV screen, your video monitor. Brush wearing maroon, trimmed in gold and white, going right to left. Set to serve for the Beat Diggers as they will have the serve first. On the far end of the court, the set the serve up. Popped up by Nome, not by Masters, and an ace to start things off. For the Brush Beat Diggers, they'll take a 1-0 lead. Jump serve coming from the back row. Popped up by Tyler Chrisman. Set from Kinsey Chrisman back to the middle. Megan Smock an attempt. Set going to come to the middle and the big swing put down by number 12. Ellie Monarch. And Ellie Monarch was the big player for the Brush Bead Diggers when they were in Sterling. Serve comes across. 2-0 lead for Brush. Tipped by Kenzie Chrisman. They're going to give her a lift as it was back into the net on the overpass. And the Tigers not looking very uh, awake like they got off the bus to start here in the first set. They're down 3-0. Jump cert comes up. Popped up. Nice pass by Sheldon. Going to go to the far side. Tyler blocked back down. No, they're going to say that it did not even clear the net. So we're hitting here on Tyler. lead for the beat diggers to start things off. Bump set to the far side and a flat footed attack by Tyler Christman. Bump back to the front. Set comes near side. Big swing down the line. Did it make the line? No it didn't. As Megan's, or I'm sorry, as uh, Alex White went for the line and just out. Tigers get their first point of the night and subbing in on the front line will be Reagan Wheeler coming in for Jamie Sheldon. And back to serve the libero Almost got an ace. Nice job in the back row by the Brush Beat Diggers as Alexis Bowler will get another serve. Tigers have cut it to 
Alexis down the middle, popped up, going to come to the near side, and a swing and a miss that time from Ellie Monarch. As the set came to the outside, she just misplayed it. And the Tigers have cut the lead to one at 4-3. Bullers to serve. Floats one this time, popped to the front. Going to be set back across, set to the front. Kinsey sets Tyler. Tyler Chrisman off the block and down. A big block by number nine, Alex White. For the Bush Beat Diggers. Beat Diggers serve across. Overpass right back into the net. And... Kenzie Christman cannot stay out of the net. That'll push the lead to 6-3. Popped up by Masters, and a lift going to be called as Emma Mortensen basically just carried the ball right back down onto the floor. Tigers trail by two. Megan Smock to serve. Rifles one down the middle, pop to the front, overpass right into Tyler Christman's wheelhouse, and she tips it to the side and cuts the lead to one at 6-5. Nice job by Tyler. Smock to serve again. Rifles one backside. Now come to the near post. Big swing off the block, popped up by Bowler. Set, far side. Wheeler down and off the block. Nice job by Reagan Wheeler. Tied at six. Little three-point run by the Tigers. Back row almost got the ace. Nice job on the dig. Then comes across, popped up by the Tigers. Popped across, set up. Going to come back to the middle. Big swing. Nice job by the Tigers to get the off-the-kill attempt of Monarch and then put down by Tyler Christman. Nice job by the Tigers there. And they take their first lead of the night. Mock to serve again. Rifles this one down the near side. Nice pass. Comes to the near side. Attempt down off the block and a nice job by Emma Mortensen. Mortensen with her first kill of the night. That'll send Shelby Wolliver back to serve. Shelby, the 5'6 sophomore, brings it across and unable to play it was Alexis Bowler. Give her the ace. And an 8-7 lead by Brush that quickly. Wolliver with the serve. Comes near side. Popped up. Going to go back to the back side on the slide. And Tyler Chrisman hits it in the net. I talked about the hitting errors and service errors in the pregame. And the Tigers have been plagued with that all year. Nice pass by Kinsey, set to the far side. Tipped over by Masters. Back to the middle. And a tip across. Nice attempt by Megan Smock. She got the ball up in the air, but nobody could play it. And quickly a 10-7 lead for the brush beat diggers. Wolliver to serve. Right-handed comes to the near side. Alexis Buller with the bump. Set to the middle. Reagan Wheeler tips it across. Popped up by Wolliver. Going to come to the set to the middle. Monarch, big swing. And the Tigers able to get it back across. Nice play by Sterling. Monarch on the fake and put across. It was touched, so not a four hit. And then Alex Masters goes for the line and gets the line. Nice job by Masters. Her first kill of the night. Got the curveball to go down on the line. That'll send Tyler Chrisman back to serve. Set going to come to the middle. Monarch, big swing. Did she get it touched? Yes, she did. And back to a three-point lead, 11-8. And Monarch will give herself the serve. Eleven eight brush on top. Sterling swept brush in three. First time they met in Sterling. Monarch, big serve. Popped up by Wheeler. Smock with a set to the side. Kenzie Christman tips it across. Set from Wolver to the back side. A back row attack by Monarch. Popped up by Chrisman. Set to the far side. Reagan Wheeler off the block. Nice job. Get it back to the front. <laughs> and a nice job as Emma Mortensen got her second kill of the night. 
Four point lead for Brush at 12-8. Ellie Monarch on the serve. Comes near side, popped up by Wheeler. Bump set to the far side and a flat foot attack by Kinsey Christman to the back row. Unable to play it, nice job off of the net by Monarch. Masters attempt bumped up, gonna come to the near side. Tip across by Brush, unable to get the tip was number six, Jordan Delorier, as she tipped it into the net, and the Tigers will take the serve and the point. Cut it to three at 12-9, with Reagan Wheeler serving. Nice serve to the far side, popped up by Monarch. Bump set across in a two ball. Nice job to play it for the Tigers. Back row attack, Tyler Chrisman got the line. Tyler Chrisman with a nice kill. That's her third of the night, as she found the far far line. Tigers have cut it to two at 12-10. The ball went out into uh, the hallway to the concession stand. Needed a drink. It was thirsty. It was. Floated across Monarch. Going to pop it up. Come back to the near side. And a flat-footed attack by Monarch. And nobody home. Flat-footed attack. Nobody went to get it. And the back row Tyler Chrisman and Reagan Wheeler looking at each other, and nobody got to it. Back to a three-point lead for the Beat Diggers. Big swing by Mortensen off of Tyler Chrisman and played back across, and they're going to say it was out. It hit the cross or hit the uh, the post coming down off the goal for the basketball goal, and I guess you can't play it off of that. 14-10, brush on top. Mortensen with the serve down the middle. Nice pass. Set to the backside. Right in the wheelhouse, but Alex Masters wins the initial joust. Nice play by Brush Beat Diggers to get it across. Tipped by Kinsey Chrisman. Tipped back across, and then Kinsey goes to the back line. Nice job, Kinsey. First kill of the night for Kinsey as she tips it to the back line, and that'll send Alex Masters to the service line. Master serve to the backside. Going to come back across to the middle. Bump set. Big swing by Shayla Klein. Blocked by the Beat Diggers. Right into, nice job by the Beat Diggers to clean it off the net. Set, Kinsey Christmas and a stuff block. Alex White with her second stuff block of the night. And a four-point lead for the Beat Diggers at 15-11. Serve turned over to Allison Pabst. Going to be bump set to the far side, and Masters going to flat foot attack across. Overpass comes right into Shayla Klein's wheelhouse, and she puts one down. First kill for Shayla tonight. Shayla's been a great addition to the Tigers this year. She played some as a freshman, but doing very well as a starter as a sophomore. Kinsey Christman on the serve to the back line. Popped across. Nice reaction by the brush beat diggers on the bad pass. Megan Smock blocked at the net and unable to play it as Alex Masters hit it back towards the net and back to a four-point lead at 16-12. As back to serve for the Beat Diggers is Jordan Delorier. Delorier on the serve. Comes deep, popped up. Nice job back to the middle. And off the block and down. Nice job by Megan Smock to get one down. Tigers have cut it to three at 16-13. Checking in on the back line for the serve. It's going to be Alexis Bowler. Jamie Sheldon going to sit down along with Shayla Klein as Reagan Wheeler back on the front row. Set going to come to the near side. Monarch on the tip and nobody home. Nobody home as they had a double block set for Monarch. And she just tipped it over the block. Nobody able to get to it. Back to a four-point lead, 17-13. Big serve. Nice job on the pass. Going to go to the far side. Reagan Wheeler, flat-footed attack. Brush going to set to the near side and flat-foot attack to the back row. Back to the front, come to the middle, tipped across by Tyler Chrisman, nobody home. 
Nice job by Tyler. Emma Schultz in the game, by the way. Megan Smock back to serve. Emma Schultz on the front line. Popped up back line, going to come to the near side. Wollover tipping it across. No, she got it in. Nice job. Or that wasn't Wollover, I'm sorry. Emma Mortensen got it down the middle for her third kill of the night. Went right down center court. 18-14. Wollover to serve for the Beat Diggers. Right-hander floats one across. Popped up by Kinsey. Megan tipped back to Tyler Christman, and she tips it across. Nice set. Nice job by Megan Smock on the set. Tyler Christman with the kill. Unofficially five tonight for Tyler here in the first set. She'll go back to serve. Rifles one down the middle. Pop to the front. Woolover with the back set. Big swing by Monarch. Put down by Kinsey Christman. Kinsey Christman with the stuff block. Now the big Monarch swing. And the Tigers have cut it to two at 18-16. Tyler serves, far court, popped up, and brought down in the middle. Nice job by Emma Mortensen, fourth kill of the night. That'll give Monarch to serve with a three-point lead. Smock set, far side, Kinsey Christman brings the heat, but hits it too high over the block and out. First one at 20 here is Brush at 20 to 16. Monarch with that big right hand. Tyler with a nice pass and open over pass right back in. Nice job to keep it alive by Masters set. And the attack by Kinsey Christman, a miss hit into the net. And Blackjack for the Beat Diggers at 21-16. Timeout Sterling, their first timeout of the night. And five-point lead for the Brush Beat Diggers at 21-16. Now look at the scoreboard brought to your local AFLAC representative, Bob Mollander and Daryl McCormick. Get the protection you need to stay ahead of the game. Call 970-522-2309. The AFLAC duck. Oh, on the basketball hoop on the far side watching tonight's activities. Don't want to forget the Pete's Farmers Co-op, your one-stop shop for fuel and propane contracts for 24-hour fuel wherever you travel through Pete's, Pete's Farmers Co-op. And don't forget, it's corn harvest time. They can help you with all your corn harvest needs. Just give them a call, the Pete's Farmers Cooperative. Coming out of the timeout, brush back on the floor and ready to go. Sterling coming out. A little late, getting a little more rest and a little more instruction. They trail by five, 21-16. Ellie Monarch, one of the premier players for Brush. 6-2. Definitely has that body for volleyball. Too deep and out and exactly what the Tigers wanted at the timeout. A little break and to come out of the timeout and get the first point. As Alexis Bowler goes to the front, she's going to check out, and coming in for her, Shayla Klein on the front line. Big stuff block, popped back up right back into Kinsey Christman's wheelhouse, and she was in the net, she got overexcited, her eyes got so big, and she hit it right in the net. Checking back for Reagan Wheeler, going to the back row now, Sheldon, back to serve for the Beat Diggers, Emma Mortensen. Down the middle, popped up by Sheldon, nice job. Kenzie Christman set back, Tyler Christman, back row attack, popped up by the Beat Diggers. Come to the near side, off the block and down. A nice job by Emma Mortensen. She's got five kills tonight. Sheldon with a nice pass. Back, and Sheldon in a flat-foot attack into the net. Tigers just shooting themselves in the foot. 24-17. Set point, and the Tigers want to talk it over. As we're in the timeout here, Coach Shoemaker just talking to Chrisman here, trying to give Kenzie... Some instruction on a setting technique. 
and the rest of the uh, team sitting over here getting a talk with assistant coach Short. Everybody doing the Macarena here. All right. Got to do a little Macarena. Got to like that. Everybody dancing to the Macarena, baby. Coming out of the timeout, it's set point for the Brush Beat Diggers. The serve comes across, popped up by Tyler Christman, overpass, but right there. Nice job by Masters to get it across set. Comes near side, down the line, popped up by Smock. Nice job by the Tigers to just keep it alive. Good rally by both teams here. Down the middle, off the block. Tyler pushes it to the front. Far side, Shayla Klein. A big kill for Shayla Klein. Nice job, Shayla. Second kill of the night. <coughs> Tigers trailing 24 to 18. They have several set points to fight off here. Masters with the serve to the far side. Set, going to go to the back side on the slide. Tipped across by Mortensen and unable to play it. All of the Tigers, they said it was in. She let it go. It hit the line, and that's the first set. Tiger is going to lose 25 to 18. We'll be back for set number two right after this. You're listening to 1230 KSTC. You're watching Chassa.tv and ColoradoPreps.tv also on YouTube.com. This is a big time small town production. Here's the simple math problem. One plus one is equal to zero. Here's one plus one is equal to three. Because our personal free check is a personal free policy. If you choose as much, free. You just start with free checking, free online banking, free telemetry access, free cash pay, new service fees, and more. And when you add on, you get a free savings account, free appraisal, free mortgage, and more. So you're in for free. Try the day to open a new account by visiting bankofcolorado.com. Well, one plus one equals three. Get your DVDs, copies of the adventure theme live online at BigTimeSmallTown.com. Hi, I'm Ben Blanca, owner of Channel Ram, one of the talents of Big Time Small Town Media. Very glad you're enjoying the broadcast we're bringing to you live online. And don't forget you can have this broadcast whenever and wherever you want. For the purchase of the DVD from Big Time Small Town Media, go to www.BigTimeSmallTown.com. There you can check out all the games that we've got from any past tournaments. We've been doing this for just more than a year. And Big Time Small Town Media is proud to be more than sports. We're a community. You're looking for a used car, but you don't really trust those used car dealers. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto in Sterling, trust is not an issue. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, every vehicle is fully inspected before it goes out on the lot, so you don't have to worry about buying that lemon. For your convenience of shopping, Ertl Brothers Discount Auto is available online anytime at ebautos.com. They understand that not everyone works 9 to 5, so they'll even set up private appointments to work with your schedule. Visit Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, Monday through Friday, 830 to 530, Saturday, 9 to 4. Everybody knows that when a great opportunity like an iPhone presents itself, you grab it. Somebody says that you got tickets to the big game, can't go, you grab the tickets. Somebody tells you that you can get an iPhone at a special price, you grab it. And it's true. For a limited time, Vero has iPhones for only $79.99. And we'll even pay your early termination fees up to $200 when you switch to Vero. All that and coverage you can count on. So hurry into Vero today. Your iPhone is here. Kellogg Ewing Levitt Insurance Group is your first and only stop for all of your insurance needs, including health, home, auto, farm and ranch. Kellogg Ewing Levitt can also provide you with professional and general liability the bonds. Dance. There's nothing like doing the chicken dance on Saturday morning at State Volleyball, 8 o'clock in the morning. Thousands of people doing the chicken dance, done it the last few years, and it's just awesome at State Volleyball. As we go into set two, the Sterling Tigers falling 25-18 in set number one. They'll have the serve. Kinsey Chrisman back at the service line trying to get a set back here. As they swept Brush 3-0 in the first meeting, Brush, like I said, on a roll. As they have went 12-3 since that meeting with the Tigers. The Tigers going 7-5 in that same time period. All right, Kinsey Christman set to serve 0-0. Tigers going right to left, Brush going left to right. Monarch with a big swing. Popped up off the ceiling. Tigers going to be able to play it. Kinsey tips it. Nobody home. 
Tyler Chrisman, her sixth kill of the night. And the Tigers take a 1-0 lead. Kinsey Chrisman back on the service line for Sterling. Down the middle to the near side, popped up, going to set to the far side and back to the back for a back row attack from Delorier. Megan on the slide gets it to call the net and drop over. And the Tigers quickly up 2-0 as Megan Smock gets her second kill of the night. McKenzie's serve floats back deep just wide of the back line. Tigers up 2-1. That'll send the serve and the point to Brush. Deep serve as they return the favor. As Alex White hits it too deep. And the Tigers will take a 3-1 lead. Checking in will be Reagan Wheeler on the front line for Jamie Sheldon. And back to serve Shayla Klein. Shayla rifles one far side. Pop to the front. Wooliver set to the big side on the, on the far side. Attempt by Mortensen, popped up by the Tigers. And on the cross, did they get it? They did. Reagan Wheeler, big swing to the cross court. And Reagan has a couple of kills tonight. Tigers up 4-1 and looking like the Tigers that we know and love. They were a step behind in set number one. Shayla, nice hit. Goes to the back line and caught the back line. Gives Shayla Klein an ace. Shayla down the middle. Maybe popped up by Megan Griffith, the libero. Back over to the Tigers. Set. Comes near side. Reagan Wheeler. Griffith to the front. Set. Middle. Tip by Monarch. Nice job by Megan. Bump set. And Tyler Christman puts it down. Off the libero, Megan Griffith. Not quite a facial, but it was uh, a nice hit nonetheless. Tyler's got seven kills on the night. Overpass to Megan, pushed down, picked up by Wolliver. Tiger's going to play it at the net. Tyler Christman tips it down. Wolliver with a nice dig back into Monarch's wheelhouse. Dug up by Kinsey. Comes to the near side. Reagan Wheeler off the block and down. <laughs> Megan Griffith could not get to it. And a timeout going to be called by Brush as the Tigers take a quick 7-1 lead here in set number two. And this second set brought to you by Signal Graphics in the Broadway Plaza Shopping Center in Sterling. Your one-stop shop for all your printing needs, business cards, posters, flyers, and any other signage for your business or event. Call Kevin at 521-9000. Pete's Farmers Cooperative is your one-stop shop for feed and delivery. Pete's Farmers Cooperative extremely proud of the new corn facility in Iowa, serving all of northeast Colorado. It is corn harvest season, and they have that new facility in Iowa. Give Pete's Farmers Cooperative a call. The Sterling Tigers losing set number one, 25-18. And then coming out in set number two, taking a quick 7-1 lead. And got to love that if you're a Tiger fan. Looks like we're going to be going more than uh, three sets tonight if this continues the way it is for the Tigers. Out of the timeout, Shayla Klein to serve. Klein serves down the middle. Comes down. Monarch, big swing, did not find the line. Was it touched? Did not see a touch, did not call a touch. Monarch thought it was touched. I just got delivered a lolly, so life is good. 8-1 lead for the Tigers. Push to the front. Monarch with a bump set. Back row attack. Going to be too deep and out. That was Allison Paps. And quickly, the Tigers up 9-1 here in set number two. Shayla Klein popped to the front. Going to come back to her. Tipped across by Mortensen and the Tigers. And Monarch gets it her wheelhouse, and she knows what to do with that. Ellie Monarch puts it down. Third kill of the night. But a 9-2 lead for the Tigers. Wolliver back to serve. For the Beat Diggers, push to the front. 
Bump set by Kinsey, near side. Tyler pops one across, feathers it. Unable to get to it on the beat diggers. Tigers up by eight at 10-2. That'll send Megan Smock back to serve for Sterling. Bush pops it up by Delorier. Monarch and a free ball back across for the Tigers. Kinsey to the front, set, near side. Tyler Christman tips one across. Over the block and down, and the Tigers looking like they're ready to play, and another timeout going to be called by Brush as the Tigers up 11-2 in set number two, and the Sterling Tigers have come to play tonight. And don't forget, you can get a DVD of all the games we broadcast live video online at www.bigtimesmalltown.com. Big Time Small Town is a media group of local broadcasters proud to bring you the big time to the small town. Welcome all of our listeners on 1230 KSTC. Also, those of you out there watching a live video stream on Chassa.tv and ColoradoPreps.tv, also watching us on the upload on YouTube.com. Welcome out there. I'm Michael Murphy, and you're listening on 1230 KSTC out of Sterling, Colorado. As the timeout, the Tigers coming out ahead 11-2, a nine-point lead. They had a short, brief lead at the beginning of set one and then were basically behind by four points most of the contest and ended up losing set number one by seven, 25 to 18. Brush now back on the line as Alexis Garcia, the libero going to be in the back quarter here. Smock with the serve and a misplay and gives Smock the ace as Allison Paps cannot place it and Smock gets the ace. 12-2, Tigers up by 10, Smock to serve after the ace. Back row popped up by Wolliver. Paps set, backside Monarch, big swing, too deep and out. So all of the momentum that they had in the first set all swung to Sterling's way. Sterling up by 11. Short serve, going to be popped up, set back in the middle and goes to the far line and getting it down. A nice job that time by Emma Mortensen. She's got six kills on the night. Cuts the lead to 10 at 13 to three. And Ellie Monarch back to hit for Brush from the service line. Nice serve, popped up by Kinsey. Smock plays it back in and a free ball. Flat foot played it across by Bowler. Tip across, popped up. And the short set, Tyler gonna tip. Nice job by Garcia, the libero with a great play, and the Sterling Tigers couldn't play it. And she had a great save, cuts it to nine at 13-4, and the Tigers can't afford to let the Diggers get any type of momentum back here. Ellie Monarch to serve. Goes just out. Thought it was gonna catch the back line. Pushes the lead back to 10 at 14-4 with Kenzie Christman to serve. Kenzie down the middle, Monarch gonna push it to the front. Monarch, the back row attack off the block and down. Kenzie Christman had the right idea, but off the block of Kenzie and out of bounds. Cuts it back to nine at 14 to five. Beat Digger serve from Mortensen down the middle. Nice job on the pass, tip back in. And Alex, nice job by Alex Masters on the quick set to put one down. Nope, they're going to say in the net were the Tigers. Oh, nope, they called a lift on, called a lift on the set. Back across the overpass, off the block, popped up. And now quickly 15-6. They've cut it to nine again on the serves from Emma Mortensen. Big swing by Alex. Going to be popped up by the beat diggers. Back to Monarch for a back row attack. Right in the overpass, but picked up back by the Tigers. Reagan Wheeler with the attack set to the far side. Attempt by Brush on the far side by Alex White. And the Tigers going to save it initially, but then can't get it in as Alex got it back in, but the flat-footed attack from Kinsey Christman misses the line, and it's a six-point lead at 14 to eight. Back row, Tyler gonna pass to the front, come to the near side, Kinsey Christman, the attack was just out. 
and they fought right back in this, back to a five-point lead, 14-9. Tigers were up by 11 at one point. A 6-0 run by the Beat Diggers. The serve from Mortensen down the near side, popped up by Kinsey. Across, dug up by Reagan Wheeler. Set, going to come to the near side. Kinsey with the attack down the line. Came outside and hit the uh, antenna, and they've cut it to four. Need to call a timeout, or let's get something going here, Tigers. You've let them back in this now. Go to the far side. Set in the middle tip by Alex Masters. Played by the beat diggers, but unable to get it on the second hit. Give the kill to Alex Masters. And Alex stops the momentum. Back to a five-point lead, 15-10. Reagan Wheeler to serve. Reagan, nice job by Delore to pop it up. Go to the far side. Off the block. Back up. Go again to the far side. Tipped across by the B-Diggers. And a stuff block by Kinsey Christman and Alex Masters. They went to the same place three times, and Alex White had three attempts at it the last time. With the big attack and the stuff walk by the Tigers, puts them back up by six at 16-10. And Reagan Wheeler to serve. Right-hander to come down the middle. Popped up by Monarch. Set, going to go back to the middle. And Woolover free ball across to the Tigers. Wheeler to the front. Megan Spock back that big attempt. And into the net was Alex Masters. She had the attempt, but on the follow-through, got into the net. And cut back to a five-point lead for the Tigers. Paps to serve for the Beat Diggers. Paps to the back line, popped up by Chrisman. Going to come to the near side in a back row attack by Megan Smock. Popped up by Monarch. Going to go to the far side again to White. And then it's popped up by the Tigers. Shayla Klein keeps it alive. Set back to the middle. Delorier attempt, popped up by the Tigers. Comes back to the near side. Shayla Klein off the block, popped up by the Beat Diggers. Back set. Big swing by Wolliver, too deep and out. Nobody touched it. Nice rally by both squads. Wolliver's attempt to go cross court just missed the back line, and the Tigers back up by six at 17-11. Alex Masters now to serve for Sterling. Pops one far side. Nice job by Wolliver to even keep it alive. Flat-footed attack by Paps. Didn't clear the net. So a four... Hit violation on the B Diggers pushes the Tiger lead to seven, 18-11. Here in set number two, Tigers lost set number one, and then a hitting error by Masters into the net. Served by Delorier. Masters going to make a nice pass. Come to the near side, Shayla Klein off the block, dug by the Delorier. Go to the far side, White with the attempt. Popped up by the Tigers. Set going to come back to the middle. And an attack from the back row by Sheldon was hit wide. And we're back to a five-point contest. Tigers 18, Beat Diggers 13. Delorier with a long jump serve. Goes to the far side. Popped up by Masters. Back to the middle and a flat foot attack by Sheldon again. Out. Two in a row. Cuts it to four. At 18 14. Shayla Klein blocked down, popped up by Tyler Christman behind her. Nice job. Tyler going to feather one across and gets the cork. Feathers it right into the circle, the fire circle. Everybody's standing around singing Kumbaya, and it pushes it back to five at 19-14. Kinsey Christman to serve. Short serve, ace. Nobody home. They're singing the second chorus of Kumbaya. 20-14, to 14, a six-point lead for the Tigers. Kenzie Christman serves, same place. That time, nice job to pop it up. Far side, big swing by Ellie Monarch. And Shayla Klein hits it into the net. 20-15. White with the serve. Set comes near side. Shayla, or Tyler Chrisman, boom, goes the dynamite. 
right into Alex White. And Alex going to come out. Paps going to, or I'm sorry, Garcia going to check back in on the back line. The libero, Shayla Klein to serve. Reagan Wheeler going to check in for Sheldon on the front line for the Tigers. Blackjack first for the Tigers here in set number two, 21-15, a six-point lead. Klein serve, popped up by Delorier, going to go to the far side. Mortensen down the line, did she get it? Yes, she did. Emma Mortensen goes line and did a nice job there. Twenty-one, sixteen, a five-point lead. Wolliver with the serve for the Beat Diggers. Back row attack from Bullard climbs the net, goes over to the Beat Digger side, back set, and a big swing and down in the middle by Ellie Monarch. Nice set by Wolliver, and she'll give herself the serve back. Four-point lead again. Twenty-one, seventeen. The Tigers up by as many as eleven in this set. Now a four-point contest. Wolliver with the serve. Bowler with the pass. Kinsey Christman. Tyler on the slide. The set was too far wide, and Tyler couldn't get it around the antenna. And a three-point deficit as the Beat Diggers have clawed their way back into this set. The Tigers going to take a timeout ahead 21-18 to here in set number two. And that look at the scoreboard brought to you by your local associate, AFLAC representatives Bob Mullinder. And Daryl McCormick, get to know Quack about AFLAC, 970-522-2309. The White Ducks somewhere in here. Oh, standing up behind us here in the stands, having a good time. We got the uh, fun songs. Let's see, we had the chicken dance. We had the Macarena. Now we got uh, We Are the Champions. The Tiger momentum that had the 11-point lead has slowly kind of slipped away. The Beat Diggers crawled right back in here. 21-18. Tigers need four points to close this out. The Beat Diggers with the serve, and they are clawing their way back. Wolliver with the serve down the middle. Pass to the front set. Back to the near side. Reagan Wheeler off the block and down. Big answer by Reagan Wheeler right there. For her third kill of the night, Tigers go back up by four, 22-18. Give the serve to Megan Smock. Megan already with an ace tonight. That's going to be popped up by White. Wolliver back to the back and a flat-footed attack by Garcia. Bowler with the pass. And Alex Masters blocked on the outside by Mortensen. Back to a three-point lead for Sterling, 22-19 and checking in. Checking in for Ellie Monarch on the serve is number three. And I'm not, I don't have a number three. I'm going to have to find her on the, on the other roster here. Number three is Ashley Stratman. Ashley Stratman for the brush beat diggers. Down the middle, popped up by White, or popped up by Masters. Go to the far side, Tyler Chrisman going to bump one across. Pap set to the middle. Mortensen off the block. Popped up by the Tigers. Smock set near side. Into the beat diggers and a two-hit violation on Paps as the set came across to the brush side. The Tigers need two points to close this out. 23 to 19. Going to make this 11-point lead stand up if they can get two points here. Kins er, Tyler Christman gets one to claw the net and go over. As it climbs and goes over her, gives herself an ace. And it's set point for the Tigers after they lost set number one. 24-19. Sterling Tiger faithful clapping. They have a pretty good contingent here in Brush tonight. Tyler serving for set point. Popped up by Monarch. Go to the back side. And a free ball across to Sterling. Set to the front. Smock set to the near side. Big swing. Reagan Wheeler, was it touched? No, it wasn't. According to the officials, it was not touched. We'll do it all over again, 24-20. Brush needs to stave off four points here. Mortensen on the serve. Wheeler with a nice pass to the front. Smock sets near side. Kinsey Christman pulls one off the block. And the Tigers take set number two, 
25 to 20. We'll be back for set number three right after this. You're listening to 1230 KSTC, also watching on uh, Chassa.tv, CommodorePreps.tv, and YouTube.com, because this is a big-time, small-town production. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545, and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. One of the benefits of being a Premier Farm Credit borrower is having the opportunity to share in the association's profits. Since 2001, Premier has paid out over $26 million in patronage dividends. Call us if you want to be part of a local, member-owned and controlled cooperative that understands agriculture. We offer interest rates competitive in the marketplace and our board of directors is committed to a patronage dividend program. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. <laughs> Back for set number three, one set apiece here in Brush. Brush won the first one, the Tigers with the second one. Brush with the serve, Delorier serve, popped up by Masters. Set to the far side, Tyler Chrisman down the middle, popped up by Delorier. Set comes back to the near side, topped across by White. Going to set to the middle, Tyler Chrisman, nice job by Delorier. Nope, they're going to say in the net, Tyler Chrisman had a big attempt. But they're going to call an in the net violation on Monarch. And the Tigers will take point number one. Nice rally for the first point. Checking in on the back line for Shayla Klein. Is Alexis Buller. She will serve. Buller rifles one down the middle. Nice job by Delorier to get to it. Big swing by Monarch. Popped up by Buller. Nice job. Tip in the middle. Nice dig by Garcia. Going to go Monarch with a tip. Nobody home. Nice tip by Monarch and nobody got to it. All tied at one as Ellie Munner got up. She's got that big right arm, that big swing. Got up there and tipped it across, and we're all tied at one here in set number three. Go to the backside. Flat-footed attack by Bowler. Going to go to the near side. Down the line, Kinsey Chrisman. Megan Smock with a nice tip. Nice dig by Wooliver. Popped across by Paps. Bowler with the bump set to the far side. Wheeler down off the block. Nice job by Reagan Wheeler. Got her for four kills tonight. Tigers take a 2-1 lead. I'll tell you what, in set number three, we've had three big rallies for these points. They haven't been quick. Megan Smock going to serve for Sterling. The right-hander rifles one down the middle. Overpass back to the Tigers. Set by Smock. Comes to the backside. Masters tips one across. Garcia back to Masters. Blocked by Monarch. Back at joust one by Masters over Monarch. Masters wins the joust at the net. Tigers go up 3-1. Smock to serve. Big rallies again. 
Back line, Garcia with a nice pass. Wolliver set. Monarch whiffs and unable to play. Monarch thought it was going to be a quick set, and it was a high set, and Monarch mistimed her jump. 4-1, Tigers on top. Smock with a big serve, give her the ace. Megan Smock with her second ace of the night. And the Tigers doing exactly what they did in set number two. Coming out and taking an early lead, they're ahead 5-1. Back row, pop to the front. Paps, Crenzy, or uh, Tyler over to Lexus. Now the big swing, too deep and out by Ellie. And quickly a timeout by the Bee Diggers as they find themselves down 6-1 here in set number three. The Tigers have come out and started set number two just like they are set number three just like they did set number two, and have a five-point lead. Uh, we're going to do we're going to do a little fun now. We've had the chicken dance, we've had uh, the macarena. Now we've got YMCA. So the crowd getting ready for YMCA here at the timeout. Tigers up six to one. Here in set number three, and set number three brought to you by Nelson Finance. You want to plan for your retirement? Visit with Joel at Nelson Finance at 206 Main Street in Sterling. Better to plan and not need it than to need it and not have a plan. Pete's Farmers Crop, your one-stop shop for pet foods, tires, and oil service for 24-hour fuel whenever you travel through. And don't forget their new facility in Iowa for all your corn harvest needs. The Sterling Tigers... Lost set number one, 25-18, and then came out. Everybody got one YMCA in, and Megan Smock misses the serve. Too deep and out. So the A&E channel, ace followed by the air. 6-2 Tigers by four. Wolliver to serve for the beat diggers. Down the middle, popped by Kenzie Christman in the front. Set, far side, Reagan Wheeler off the block and down. Reagan Wheeler waking up and having a great second and third set with five kills. That'll send Tyler Chrisman back to serve the five-point lead for Sterling. The crowd's still doing YMCA and the music not playing. Garcia, nice pass to the front. Wolliver set. Bump set across to the Tigers. Nice set by Megan to the far side. Reagan Wheeler basically a flat-footed attack to the back. And brush going to play it. Yes, and Kinsey Christman, the joust won by the Beat Diggers initially. Delorier pops it to the front, and Monarch puts it down right through Kinsey Christman. Monarch just got up above the block. Nice job by Ellie Monarch. Cuts the lead to four at seven to three for the Tigers, and Monarch will give herself the serve. Rifles one. Nice job by the Tigers to even play it. Get it across, and they're going to call a lift on, I think they called a lift on Alex Masters. Not sure what they called. So a three-point lead for Sterling now as Tigers saw that five-point lead disappear. And trying to get too much top spin on it, Ellie Monarch puts it into the net. The Tigers get the serve and the point. Reagan Wheeler back to serve. Up 8-4. Wheeler, nice serve down the middle. Popped up by Garcia. Back set by Wolliver. Tipped across by Mortensen. Popped up by Alex Masters. Over to Shayla Klein. They're going to say it never did clear the net. The Shayla Klein attack hit the cord and did not clear the net. A four-hit violation on the Tigers. And the lead cut back to three at 8-5. Sheldon checks in on the back line. Pop to the front. Back set on the slide. Goes for the back line. Two deep and out. And the lead cut to two at 8-6. And Emma Mortensen serving for the beat diggers. Mortensen serve. Rifle to the near side. Popped up by Sheldon. Pass clear across the court. Back to the middle. Tipped across by Kinsey Christman. She timed that perfectly. Nice job by Kinsey. And McKinsey, I've got her for three kills tonight. Back to a three-point lead, 9-6. Alex Masters hits it in the net. Second service there by Alex tonight.
Alexis Bowler going to check in on the back line for, for Masters. That did not catch the line. It was called in, but it was not in. One point lead for the Tigers, 9-8. We have a beautiful look at the line from right here, and that was definitely not in. Set going to go to the far side, tipped across by Shayla Klein to the back line. Garcia going to pop it to the front, comes near side. Mortensen off the block, tipped up by the Tigers. Going to go to the far side. Shayla Klein, big swing off the block, popped up in the back row. Going to come to the near side. The joust won initially by Brush and give the point to Brush, and we're all tied as Alex White going to get the kill. 9-9, nine, nine, the tally on the scoreboard. Tigers were up by six in this set. Serve coming from Allison Paps down the middle. Sheldon with a nice pass. Set by Kinsey to the far side. Shayla Klein down the middle and into the net. Wolliver going to call in the net. Tigers get the point in the serve. Go up by one, 10-9. Back to serve. Kinsey Chrisman will come to the near side of the court. Kinsey down the middle. Popped up by Delorier. Set comes by Paps. Big swing blocked down by Tyler Chrisman in the middle. Tyler having a big game tonight. Got seven kills and ace. And a couple of stuff blocks as Kinsey Chrisman to serve. Tigers up by two, 11-9. Kinsey rifles one middle, popped to the front by Monarch. Attempt by Delorier is saved by the Tigers. Comes to the near side. Megan Smock on the slide, tipped across. Mortensen goes too deep, but out. I'm sorry, not Mortensen. White goes too deep and out, hitting air. Three-point lead for the Tigers, 12-9. Kinsey still serving. Kinsey goes far side. Nice job by Garcia to get that back up. Tipped across by Delorier. Set going to come to the far side. Shayla Klein goes far post. Picked up by Garcia. Nice attempt by Mortensen. Popped up by the Tigers. And then Tyler Chrisman off the block. And Megan Smock going to get the tip off the block. And got it to fall. Give the kill to Megan Smock. She's got three kills and a couple aces tonight. And a timeout going to be called by Brush as the Tigers have pushed back to a four-point lead at 13-9. Here in the third set, Brush took set number one, Tigers set number two, and they lead by four in set number three. That set, that look at the scoreboard brought to you by your local associate AFLAC representatives, Bob Mullinder and Daryl McCormick. Hurt or sick, don't just sit there and take it. Call 522-2309. <laughs> The Affleck ducks somewhere around here. I haven't. Oh, he's right beside me. He moves around the gym. Has a good time. Should have seen him out here doing the Macarena. 13-9 Tigers on top as we come out of the timeout. Tigers looked a step behind in set number one, and they looked at looked that way the whole time at Platte Valley, but in set two and set three, Sterling looks like they've found their pace again and are playing like they can play. They do have the ability to play. Kinsey Chrisman back to serve. They've eliminated most of the errors. Had a few hitting errors and a few serving errors, but nothing like at Platte Valley the other night. Kinsey Chrisman on the serve. Going to be a bump set to the far side. Delorier stuff blocked by Shayla Klein. The Tigers have been on fire at the net so far tonight. And they push the lead back to five, 14 to nine. Whistled ready to play. Kenzie Chrisman served, feathered to the far side, too wide. She was going for the far sideline and missed it by about five feet. Cuts the lead back to four. Ball needed a drink again out to the concession stand. Delorier with a jump serve, just barely crawls the net. Nice job by Bowler to make that attempt to get it back. Tyler going to feather one across, comes to the near side. Nice job by Bowler again to get it to the front. Kins, or Tyler Chrisman going to find the back line. Nice job by Tyler. Nice set, and she finished it off as the subs coming in. Alex Masters coming in for Shayla Klein. 
and Reagan Wheeler coming in on the front line for Sheldon. A free ball by Wolliver back across to the Tigers. Bowler to the front, set to the far side. Reagan Wheeler, a slider down the middle, popped up and comes back to, to White. Come to the back side. Tigers on the flat-footed attack by Megan Smock. Set to the middle. Monarch tip. Tipped up by Reagan Wheeler back across. Set going to come to the middle. Tyler Christman get a feather one across. Garcia to the far side. Nice rally. Monarch. Nice job by Kinsey Christman to pop that one up. Come to the back side. Tyler going to go to the back line. Popped up by Delorier. Set. Comes to the near side by Paps. Feathered across. Popped up by Masters. Going to be set back to the back line. Paps to the front. Wolver set. Middle. Monarch tip. Near side. Dug up by Megan Smock. And then a big swing. Boom goes the dynamite as the bump set to Tyler Christman finished off that great rally. That was a great rally by both squads. And Tyler Christman finished it off. 16-10. Tigers on top. Good serve by Bowlers, comes across to the near side. Alex Masters with the overpass out as she tried to take that Monarch hit. She got it, but then she hit it out on the overpass. 16-11, Tigers by five. White to serve. And she serves it in the net. We'll take that every time if you're a Tiger fan. If you are a beat digger fan, not so happy right now. 17-11, Tigers by six, Megan Smock to serve. And she answers with one of her own. So, error followed by an error. Wolliver on her serve, nice serve down the middle. Kinsey, nice pass, Smock set, far side. Reagan Wheeler down off the block, dug up by Wolliver. Nice job to Mortensen over to the near side, popped up by Kinsey Christman into the net, and Mortensen said, I'll take that, thank you very much. Megan Smock tried to get to it. They've cut it to four, have the beat diggers. It's 17-13, Wolliver has the serve. Back line popped up by... Kinsey Christman back to Tyler, and Tyler tools one down off the block. Roofs it right down. That was off of Mortensen and off of Ellie Monarch. Back to a five-point lead, gives herself the serve. Christman serve, rifled, and an ace. Second ace by Tyler. Nineteen thirteen Tigers on top. Oh, what another one. Ace, you got the beautiful top spin on that. Crawled over the net and dropped like a knuckleball. Two aces in a row for Tyler and the Tigers at twenty first in this ma in this set. Twenty to thirteen. After taking set number one, the Tigers have taken a commanding present in set two and in set number three. Twenty to thirteen. Kenzie, or I mean Tyler, almost had three aces in a row. Tyler pushes up the Monarch free ball. Over to Reagan Wheeler, and she tools one down off the block. Blackjack, Tigers 21 to 13. And Reagan has her six unofficial kills on the night. Tyler to serve. 21-13. Feathers one across. Popped up and tipped across. Nice job by Tyler to pop it back up. Over to Alex Masters. Goes back line. Paps going to pass to the front. Wolliver, quick set. Off the block. Back in. The Tigers going to make the kill by Kinsey Christman. Wolliver tried to play it on the far sideline. 22-13. A nine-point lead for the Tigers in set number three. Trying to go up two sets to one here in Brush. Tyler rifles this one. Popped up by Delorier, comes to the near side and a flat foot attack by Garcia. Popped up by Bowler in the back line, go to the far side, Wheeler. Down to the middle, popped up, nice job by the beat diggers and tipped across but too wide by Emma Mortensen. Tigers at 23-13, a 10 point lead. They just need two to finish this set number three off and take a 2-1 lead. Substitution coming in as Pabst is gonna check in for Megan Baker who was in for the beat diggers. Tyler Christman rifles one down the middle, played on the back line by Delorier. Back to the front line and a free ball back to the Tigers. Set to the front, Smock, far side, Reagan Wheeler, big swing, off the block and out of bounds. We're at set point, 24-13. The Tigers have just 
been dominating in set two and set three. Tyler Chrisman for the set. 24-13, Feathers one near side, popped up by Paps. Goes to the middle, Mortensen off the block, popped up, nope, didn't get to it. Mortensen with the kill, nice job by Emma Mortensen. She's got eight on the night. So they stave off one, 24-14, that'll send Monarch back with that big right arm. Still set point for the Tigers. Monarch comes middle. Popped up by Tyler Chrisman. Megan Smock back and Alex Masters tips it across. Nice dig. Megan Smock digs it up. Set far side. Reagan Wheeler to end it. Tips across. Popped up by Paps. Set. Back set. Emma Mortensen down the line. Packed up by Masters. Go to the far side. Reagan Wheeler on the slide. Got it. Reagan Wheeler with the attack on the slide. And the Tigers take set number three. 25-14. And we'll be back for set number four right after this. You're listening to 1230 KSTC, watching on Chassa.tv, on ColoradoPreps.tv, on YouTube.com, because this is a big-time small-town production. My windshield repair and replacement. You already know to call Smart Parts and Sterling. But what about drill guards, running boards, and other truck accessories, such as VW hitches and 3M clear protective coating for any vehicle? Smart Parts has what you're looking for. Ask about the Vortex system, used for straight-on truck liners to protect your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Big Tex, a name you can trust to build great trailers. Big Tex, the name behind quality, precise design, and depth of production line. Big Tex, where style does not get lost in the rugged construction of products. Big Tex, made to last, made to perform. Big Tex, with years of experience and Texas pride built into every product. When your Big Tex touches the ground, it's tested and warranted, ready to transport the job you have. Get your Big Tex trailer at Sterling Trailers. Call 522-2855. There's no free lunch, no free place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. After going down in the first set, the Sterling Tigers have come back to take set number two and set number three in dominating fashion, taking early leads in both of those sets and holding on to win 25-20 and 25-14. The serve going to be with Kinsey Chrisman to start things out here in set number four. The Tigers ahead 2-1. to one. Set number four brought to you by the Injury Access Show every Saturday morning. On the Saturday Morning Sports Show, 104.7 King FM. Don't miss it. Marla from Total Access will give us a talk about injuries and how to prevent them and how to rehabilitate them. And Shayla Klein going to have the Tigers start off right where they left off in set number three with a kill from the near post. And Shayla Klein has four kills tonight, unofficially. DeLaurier going to come to the near side and off the block and back down. Shayla Klein with a kill and a stuff block to start things off for the Tigers here in set number four. They go up two to nothing with Kenzie Christman at the service line. And she serves it in the net.
That'll turn the serve over to the brush beat diggers and Alex White, the outside hitter down the middle. Masters with a bad pass, but the Tigers recover a free ball across. Back set, big swing by Monarch, caught the line. Ellie Monarch with the curve ball and the top spin, got it to curve cross court and find the line and we're tied at two. Back across by Klein, popped up by Smock. Shayla Klein, and Shayla Klein has got all three points for the Tigers on two kills and a stuff block. That'll turn the serve over to Alexis Bowler. Set to the far side, Mortensen into the net and down as it did not get across. Bowler will serve again, and she serves it in the net. Tigers up 5-3 with Megan Smock to serve. We're having a little technical difficulties here trying to get it fixed. Back to the backside, Emma Mortensen, and played by Smock, and the Tigers flat foot across by Kenzie Christman, popped up by Garcia. Back to the middle, Monarch off the block. Kenzie Christman trying to get to it, could not. And now 5-4, they've cut it to one. Monarch to serve. Monarch pops someone down the middle, popped up. Back line, Masters going to get it back and can't get it across. Mistimed her jump and we're tied at five. Monarch back on the service line. Popped up by Bowler. Set comes to the near side, tipped across by Reagan. And a four hit violation. As it came off of Reagan Wheeler unintentionally, the Tigers had four hits. And now Brush taking the first lead that they've had in a long time. 6-5 here in set number four. Monarch to serve. Two deep and out, and it's tied at six. And a nice kill by Mortensen puts the Brush Beat Diggers back on top. 7-6 gives herself the serve. Mortensen down the middle, popped up by Chrisman. Smock with a nice job to play it off the ceiling and a free ball across from Kinsey Chrisman. Wooliver set, middle. Deloria down off the block and in. Deloria with only her first kill I have for her tonight. And an 8-6 lead by Brush. Tigers' last two sets have dominated. Brush waking back up. Mortensen served to the back line, two deep and out. Tigers will take a point and the serve. They trail by one. Hey, don't forget that you can get DVDs of all of these that we broadcast in on Chasta.tv and CollinerPreps.tv. As a lineup check, and be called for Brush before the serve. Yeah, you just need to go online to www.bigtimesmalltown.com. Get your DVD. As Reagan Wheeler has one just barely go over the net. Back to Delorier. Popped up by Wheeler. Top to the front and topped across by Megan Smock. And they're going to call Megan Smock with the attack by a back row player. And a 9-7 lead for Brush. Back row attack, I mean, a back row attack, how about a serve, comes across to the Tigers. Big attack by Shay Shayla Klein, and she's going to get the kill. Shayla having a nice 
set four here and having a nice night overall. Going to give the serve over to Alex Masters. Tigers trailing by one, nine eight. Popped up by Garcia. Pap set, tipped across. Set comes back to Kinsey Christman off the block and down. Kinsey's got four. Nine nine, the tied game here. White gonna pop one up. Back row attack. Nice job by Monarch. The Tigers going to get an attack back by Tyler Christman. She floats one over the block and down and takes the lead back. Ten nine. Masters to serve again. A little nice three point run here by the Tigers. Back row popped up by Monarch. And free ball to cross by Wolliver. Set going to come to the middle. Kenzie Christman tipped across. Dug by Garcia. Set by Paps to the backside. White with the attack. Popped up by Tyler Christman. Comes back to the backside. Free ball to cross by the Tigers. Wolliver with the bump set. Then a set to the middle. Topped over by Delorier. Bump set to the middle. Kenzie Christman. Big swing. Too deep and out. Nice rally by both teams. Ten ten, the score here in set four. Delorier with the serve. Go to the backside, and the joust won by the beat diggers. And Kinsey Christman tries to flat one to the far flat foot one to the far side and misses the line. Rush going to take the lead. Eleven ten. Delorier with the jump serve down the middle, popped up by Sheldon. Going to come to the back row attack, and Tyler Christman just hits one in the net. Back to a two-point lead for Bryce, 12-10. We're in set number four. Tigers lead 2-1 to one in sets. The Beat Diggers lead set four. Delorier served just too deep and out, just barely. 12-11. Tigers trail by one with Kenzie Christman on the service line. Rifles one middle, Delorier pops it up, set by Paps, far side Monarch, tipped across with a left hand, popped up. Coming to the other side, Shayla Klein roofs one down off the block. Shayla Klein has come to play here in set number four. I've unofficially got her for seven kills, two stuff blocks, and an ace. That's not a bad night. Kinsey Christman just gets one to climb the net. Nice job by Delorier, but then they misplayed it as... There's two setters there, Paps and Wolliver, and they ran into each other both trying to play it. They just didn't communicate. Tigers take the lead back 13 to 12. My technical team has fixed the buzz. Thank you, Shelby. Garcia pops to the near side, tipped across. Nice job by Bowlers to get it back in the tip. Goes to the back corner and got it. Tyler Christman with a two-handed set to the back corner. And a timeout called by the Brush Beat Diggers as the Tigers take a 14-12 lead as they want a short leash on this one. Audrey Rosenbrock says we got to have a short. Now we got the Cotton Eye Joe going. We've had a lot of good dance numbers on tonight. Got the Cotton Eye Joe going now. 14-12, Tigers on top here in the timeout. Don't forget we're going to on our post game. Is going to be brought to you by Nelson Financial. You can get all kinds of DVDs. Go on to www.bigtimesmalldown.com. Big Time Small Town is a media group of local broadcasters. Proud to bring you the big time to the small town. Let's see, we had YMCA, we had the Chicken Dance, we had uh, the Macarena, now we've got the Cotton Eye Joe. We have had uh, fun during the timeouts tonight, the crowd getting into it and having a good time. Out of the timeout, Kenzie Christman to serve for Sterling. 14-12, their lead here in at set number four, trying to take it 3-1 after losing set number one. Kenzie rifles one down the middle, pop by Delorier to the front set, far side Monarch, big swing. Nice job by Kenzie to keep it alive in the back row. Now that was Sheldon, I'm sorry. Shayla Klein off the block and out. Shayla Klein is on fire. Kenzie Christman to serve. Nice little five-point rally here by the Tigers. 
Nice job to keep it alive by the Beat Diggers. Back to the near side, Shayla Klein again. And again, roofs one down off the block. Shayla Klein is a world beater right now. Tigers take a four point lead, 16 to 12. Coach Rosenbach says, nope, we gotta have another timeout. They take their second timeout as Crazy Train coming on. Having some fun here with the crowd, with the music tonight here in Brush. They are having a lot of fun as the Sterling Tigers lose set number one, but they come out and take set number two and three in big fashion. Find themselves down in set number four, but then come back and take a 16-12 lead. Timeout by the Brush Bee Diggers. They're the first ones back on the court as the Sterling Tigers taking their whole time out here to set and get a break. Coach Shoemaker giving them instruction and trying to get them, keep them pumped up as this would be a huge win for the Sterling Tigers on the road in the Patriot League as Flat Valley, or I'm sorry, as Brush is four and one in league. The Tigers are only two and three league. This would bring them to 500 in the league record if they could win tonight. Sheldon to Chrisman, comes in a free ball put across again. Shayla Klein saves the day. Tipped across and off the block and down. Nice job that time by White to stem the tide and cut the lead to three at 16-13. Nice job by Alex White. White gives herself to serve down the middle, popped up back row by Bowler. Come to the near side. Tyler Christman with a big swing, popped up by the Bead Diggers. Wooliver off the block and down. Kenzie Christman with a big block, and the Tigers are fired up. I think that was Tyler with the block. Back to a four-point lead, 17-13. Alex Masters going to check in for Jamie Shelton. Boulder, Bowler with a nice serve. Wooliver set far side. Mortensen, nice job to be in the right place by Wheeler. And then on the slide, Wheeler puts one that's free ball back across on the overpass, tipped by Tyler Christman, dug up by Deloria. Wooliver gets it back to the center of the court and free ball played across by the beat diggers to the near side. Reagan Wheeler down off the block. Reagan Wheeler with a kill off the block down the line. And the Tigers are playing fairly well tonight. They're not shooting themselves in the foot. They're, they're fired up. They're doing well. Bowler, nice serve. Deloria going to pop it up. Garcia sent to Mortensen off the block. Nice job by the Tigers. Alex Masters to just save that one-handed back across in the flat-footed attack too far and deep by Ellie Monarch. And the Tigers have taken a six-point lead, 19-13. They are really trying to close this out right now. Bowler with a big serve. Tipped across, now back, and she's going to get the set to the near side. Reagan Wheeler off the block, popped up by Wolliver. Going to set back outside to Wolliver, comes tipping across and gets the feathered as she goes over the block and down. Back row couldn't get to it for the Tigers. Give Wolliver the kill. Shelby Wolliver going to give herself the serve. Pass to the front, comes all the way across. And through Garcia, a facial by Wheeler as Reagan Wheeler gets the kill. Tigers back up by six. Eight kills unofficially for Wheeler. Coming in for Megan Smock is going to be Zimmerman to serve number nine, Megan Zimmerman, the senior. Popped up by the Diggers, tipped across. Wolliver with the bump, set, goes far side. Paps goes too deep and out on the attack. Tigers at Blackjack, 21-14. Four points to close this out and take the win. Zimmerman popped up back line. Wolliver with a nice set, Paps off the block. Tigers going to play it. Kenzie Christman, did she get it? Oh, goes for the line and just misses it. 21-15, a six-point lead for Sterling. Back to serve, Ellie Monarch. Monarch serves it in the net.
22-15, Tigers by seven, and Tyler Chrisman to serve. Three points to close this out. Serve drops to Garcia, pop to the front, popped up by Wolliver, tipped across, but Alex Masters there to put it back down. Topped up by Monarch across. Set, gonna come to the near side. Reagan Wheeler down off the block. 23-15, Tigers need two. Tyler Chrisman to serve. Popped up by Monarch. Wolliver back to Monarch, back row attack. Popped up by Bowler. Set to the back side, Alex Masters. Dice dig by Monarch, put right back into the wheelhouse of Kinsey Chrisman, and she puts it down. Nice job, Kinsey, and we're at set point and match point. 24-15. Tigers need one point to close this out and get a big road win in the Patriot League. And give her an ace to end it off of Monarch by Tyler Chrisman, and the Tigers win 25-15. So the Tigers take it in a 3-1 victory. We'll be back to wrap things up and talk about this contest right after this. You're listening to 1230 KSTC out of Sterling, Colorado on uh, Chassa.tv, ColoradoPreps.tv, and on YouTube.com. I'm Michael Murphy, and this is a big-time small-town production. You're looking for a used car, but you don't really trust those used car dealers. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto in Sterling, trust is not an issue. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, there is no purchase as is. Every vehicle on the lot comes with a complete warranty. For your convenience of shopping, Ertl Brothers Discount Auto is available online anytime at ebautos.com. They understand that not everyone works 9 to 5, so they'll even set up private appointments to work with your schedule. Visit Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, Saturday 9 to 4. Kellogg Ewing Levitt Insurance Group is your first and only stop for all of your insurance needs, including health, home, auto, farm and ranch. Kellogg Ewing Levitt can also provide you with professional and general liability bonds. Kellogg Ewing Levitt, going the extra mile for their clients, and they can do the same thing for you. Call Kellogg Ewing Levitt today to receive a no obligation quote on your insurance needs. 522-4840. That's 522-4840. Kellogg Ewing Levitt with offices located at 119 North 3rd Street here in Sterling. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545, and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. Kellogg Ewing Levitt Insurance Group is your first and only stop for all of your insurance needs, including health, home, auto, farm and ranch. Kellogg Ewing Levitt can also provide you with professional and general liability bonds. Kellogg Ewing Levitt, going the extra mile for their clients, and they can do the same thing for you. Call Kellogg Ewing Levitt today to receive a no obligation quote on your insurance needs. 522-4840, that's 522-4840. Kellogg Ewing Levitt, with offices located at 119 North 3rd Street here in Sterling. Whether you need an operating loan, real estate mortgage, equipment loan, or need capital for expansion, Premier Farm Credit has the loan products to meet your agricultural financing needs. Loan decisions are made locally by experienced professional lenders who understand agriculture. We invite you to compare your loan to a Premier Farm Credit loan. We're confident that you'll find our products, price, and value to be the best in the marketplace. Call me, Ryan Rasmussen, at 522-2330 for all your ag financing needs. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending.
And welcome back to Bryce High School where the Sterling Tigers lost set number one, but then came on strong and took the last three sets to win 3-1 here on the road in the Patriot League. Anytime you can get a league win, it's great, but even sweeter when you can do it on the road. The Bryce Bee Diggers came out in fine fashion in set number one. The Tigers looked like they were a little off their game, and they were. Brush wins 25-18. Then the Tigers had an 11-point lead in set number two, ended up winning by five. Won by 11 in set three, 25-14, and took set number three by 10 at 25-15. So the Sterling Tigers get a big road win here in Brush. Our post game brought to you by Nelson Financial. Plan for retirement with a visit with Joel at Nelson Financial, 206 Main Street. Better to have a plan and not need it than to need it and not have a plan. And I'm going to tell you, um, it's real simple for me tonight on the uh, shining performance of the contest brought to you by Dr. Robert Patton. He's been making the smiles of every athlete shine for more than 30 years and is so proud to do just that. Your smile will shine as bright as tonight's shining performer of the contest with Dr. Robert Patton, a proud supporter of the area athletes and their smiles. And the shining performer tonight, Shayla Klein. She came out in the third and fourth set and just did phenomenal. Uh, she finished unofficially. I have her for nine kills couple of stuffed blocks and an ace, and she just did a nice job, especially in that fourth set. She just owned that fourth set, took the first three points, and just had a great time in that fourth set. She's our shining performer, our reliable player of the game, brought to you by Reliable Plumbing. Give George a call at 522-5592, and you got plumbing and heating problems. He's called Reliable for a reason. He's been reliable for naming more than 2,000 athletes as reliable players of the game since 2005. Thank you, George, for being reliable, and don't forget to give him a call at 522-5592 when you need reliable service for plumbing or heating problems. Our reliable performers of the contest is Tyler Chrisman tonight. Uh, she got double digits and kills, had two aces, had three stuff blocks, and she is our, uh, she played the net well tonight and just did a nice job at the service line. She had a lot of digs. She just did a great job. And so Tyler Chrisman, our performer of the contest. want to thank our uh, engineer back at the uh, studio, our board up. Thanks uh, for keeping us on the straight and narrow, Deb. want to thank my IT crew over here to the left as uh, Shelby uh, worked things out eventually with the uh, buzz in the line and did a great job for me tonight. I want to thank the fans out there. Hope you had a great time for watching uh, watching on Chassa.tv and CollegeOfPreps.tv. Also listening on 1230 KSTC because we had a great time. Hope you have a great night. I'm Michael Murphy. Have a great night, folks.